If anyone is a self-made man who worked his way up from scratch, it is this man, whose face and body you have probably seen somewhere at some point. Arnold Schwarzenegger, a boy from a simple family with no connections. But thanks to his incredible tenacity and, at times, excessive self-esteem, on the 17th of November, 2003, he achieved the seemingly impossible. The Austrian became governor of California. Arnold was born in 1947 in Thal. Until the age of 14, he lived an ordinary life, in a family where even buying a refrigerator was a major event. A small thing changed his life. The coach took their football team to the gym, and Arnold was mesmerized by the weights. At that time, he fell in love with America and thought that one day he would be able to make it in the land of endless possibilities. A bold vision was born in Arnold's mind. He would become the best bodybuilder in the world. That would be his ticket to the United States. But there was one catch. In the 60s, most people didn't go to the gym, and the ideal of beauty wasn't muscles. Bodybuilding had a minimal fan base, and bodybuilders themselves were considered freaks. Arnold didn't mind. He lifted weights, even on weekends when he had to break into a locked gym. At 18, he did his compulsory one-year military service, but didn't stop working out. Once he even left the garrison without permission so he could win the European Junior Championship, which earned him a week's imprisonment. Schwarzenegger was beginning to make a name for himself. Things escalated quickly and in 1968, Arnold won the Mr. Universe competition. For the 21-year-old bodybuilder, it paved the way to his American dream. He began training at California's Gold's Gym, a gym that at the time was a mecca for anyone serious about bodybuilding. In 1970, Arnold won his first Mr. Olympia contest with the best bodybuilders in attendance. He won five times in a row, but he saw himself elsewhere, on the big screen. These days, Arnold's figure would surprise no one in Hollywood. But back then, in the 70s, when this muscle man came, the agents laughed at him. They said his body looked weird, he had a funny accent and a difficult surname. However, he did get some small roles in the 70s. He then got the lead role in 1970 in Hercules in New York, but it wasn't much to brag about. Hercules was a total flop and Arnold's voice was dubbed over. It doesn't even look like me. Look! What are you doing? Arnold's indomitable nature comes into play again. He asked himself a question. What do I have to do to become a champion bodybuilder? The answer? Train harder than everyone else. Schwarzenegger starts taking classes in acting, fencing, horseback riding, and works on his accent. And in the 80s, after a five-year hiatus and eight weeks of intense training, he'll be able to go to the Mr. Olympia competition and beat all the best bodybuilders in the world one last time. The acting breakthrough comes soon after. Arnold got the lead role in the film Conan the Barbarian. Two years later, then-emerging director James Cameron casts him in the role of a lifetime. Although The Terminator was initially made as a low-budget film, the success was enormous and catapulted Arnold to stardom. Suddenly, it turns out that his difficult surname wasn't hard to remember.
In the 1980s and the 1990s, Arnold starred in the action classics Commando, Predator, Total Recall, and Terminator 2, which was even more successful than the first one. And suddenly no one minds that the lead role is played by a man whose vocabulary is limited. I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back. What? It all fits in with the change that America is going through at the time. People want sculpted bodies. They spend their time in the gym. Arnold is no longer viewed as unnaturally large. He's an idol. He's thriving in his personal life. In 1986, he marries journalist and Kennedy family member Maria Schreiber. And by 1997, they have four children. Arnold makes more and more films, and his childhood dream becomes a reality. He's rich, he's famous, he's popular. However, he also wanted to be influential. Schwarzenegger became an American citizen in 1983. He first dabbled in politics when he endorsed George H.W. Bush on stage during his presidential campaign. Bush rewarded Schwarzenegger by naming him chairman of the President's Council on Physical Fitness and Sports. Then in 2003, a rather unusual event occurred in California. The state is drowning in debt. During the electricity crisis, the price of electricity tripled. Governor Gray Davis is blamed. He has three years left in his term, but after a successful petition drive, it is clear that there will be a recall election. And this is the chance Arnold has been waiting for. And this is why I'm going to run for governor of the state of California. There are many candidates to replace Davis, but the movie star is getting most of the attention. The media who refer to him as the governor are going crazy for interviews. And despite his largely vague campaign platform, his popularity and life story are paving the way for him. This is the American dream in its purest form. And California voters will make it a reality. The Los Angeles Times won't change that. Five days before the election, they brought scandalous allegations of harassment to light. Arnold Schwarzenegger becomes California's governor by a huge margin of one and a quarter million votes. Be the governor for the people. I want to represent everybody. Arnold is re-elected in 2006. During his term, he pays close attention to environmental issues. Many began to say that although he was a member of the Republican Party, his views are closer to those of the Democrats. He also learns that having voters and keeping them on board are two very different things. When he leaves office, his popularity is only 1% higher than Davis's was at the time of his removal. Schwarzenegger returns to acting after leaving office, but some believe that he hasn't said a final goodbye to his political career, and that he may even consider the White House in the future. But there's a problem. As he was born in Austria, he is not allowed to run for president under U.S. law. Not yet, anyway. In 2003, the Equal Government Opportunity Amendment was proposed. It would allow anyone who has been a citizen for more than 20 years to become head of the United States. The initiative hasn't passed yet, but nowadays there are many unexpected twists and turns, so maybe one day it will be considered again. Schwarzenegger himself has indicated several times that there would be interest on his part. But even if everything stays the same, the kid from a small Austrian village was able to become an Olympia champion, the Terminator, and the governor of California. This in itself is enough for his life story to be considered one of the greatest of our time.